I'm Austin Penn with Blake Direct talking to Natalia Reyes on her new film, Terminator Dark Fate. How are you yes. doing this afternoon? I'm fine, so glad to be here. I'll let you know, right off the bat, I liked the movie a lot. Ooh. And so, starting off with a very generic question, talk to us about Daniela. Well, Danny, she's a Mexican woman. She lives in Mexico City. She has a simple life. She's just a normal person and she loves her family and she's a hard-working girl and she loves, she wants to help her family, she goes to work and suddenly she just finds that this new Terminator, this machine from the future, is trying to kill her and that turns her life upside down. That's the beginning of our story and then she gets with, you know, two more characters, two amazing women uh, that are trying to help her understand what happened in that future that made her so important. Now, before you started shooting the film, were you a fan of the Terminator franchise beforehand? I I grew up with the idea, you know, like with the right. pop culture of, you know, Sarah Connor. I remember what, I, I wasn't even born when the first one came out, uh, but I remember when I was really young, seeing both the first and the second um, at home. It was a Sunday for sure, and on TV, and they were there, and I remember seeing Sarah Connor doing pull-ups, and I was like, oh, I want to be like her. <laughs> and then, you know, like Arnold, and the sunglasses, and the jacket, and it was just part of, you know, the culture. I think we all have those references. Um, so, uh, you know, I know it was a great movie, and it was so different to what you were used to see back then. Uh, but, you know, when I actually found out, like, this was a Terminator movie, I saw them again, and I was like, they're great movies. You know, it's been 35 years, and this story feels so relevant now. And they, it looks great. Like, those movies look mm -hmm. amazing. So, I'm really proud of being part of it. Now, one of the things I loved about the film was the banter between you, Linda Hamilton, and Mackenzie Davis. Did the three of you bond while you were filming on set? Yeah. I mean, we were lucky, you know. It could be hell. <laughs> you know? uh, it was amazing. It was love at first sight. We always say, like, since the first second we were there, we just really got along well. And they are amazing, talented, absolutely amazing actresses, but also amazing human beings. And, and we just really enjoyed our time, like six months of shoot that were really intense. And we were just, like, cheering up each other and just, like, helping each other. And, like, you know, there was the cry day of Natalia and the cry day of Mackenzie. And two days is Linda's bad day. And I was like, you know, it was amazing. Now, one thing I particularly noticed is how action-packed this film was. How intense was the physical training for this? It was pretty intense. I mean, I feel, you know, I'm lucky because I got kind of late to the project. Like, they were looking for this character, and I was the last one. Um, so Mackenzie, she was training like four months before we started shooting and Linda for a year and Gabriel was also like working out like four months before. So I got there like a month and a half. So we started training, doing, you know, like stunts and like underwater training and weapons training and running and jumping and airplanes and cars, you know, it was, it was a lot. But I was kind of lucky that, you know, Danny is a normal girl and not a super soldier <laughs> from the future. So, you know, it wasn't. We were training every day, but it was not as hard for me. Now, before I go, I have to ask this. There are some people out there that prefer Terminator 1 over Terminator 2, and of course, vice versa. Which one do you prefer? Okay. Natalia, thank you so much for talking to us today. I really liked the film, and you were great in it. Mm -hmm.